What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Man Troy Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this review, we're going to talk about the game Extreme Ghostbusters, which was released on the Game Boy Color by Light and Shadow Production. And it was only released in Europe. And um, this game is pretty much based off of the uh, Extreme Ghostbusters animated show, which is, of course, a part of the um, Ghostbusters franchise. And it's pretty much a... Uh, spinoff of the uh, cartoon show, but real Ghostbusters that lasted for I think seven seasons. Now, pretty much the plot of the game is that um, Eduardo Rivera, Roland Jackson, Garrett Miller, and Kylie Griffin, who are the extreme Ghostbusters, led by um, uh, Egon, pretty much go around on ghost busting ghosts. Uh, around New York City, you know what I'm saying, there's no specific um, ghost that you go after as the main antagonist in the game, as far as I know. Now, um, um, Eduardo, Rowling, Garrett, and um, Kylie are, are the playable uh, characters, of course, being that they're um, the Ghostbusters and everything at this point, and um, before you play a particular um, uh, stage and everything, um, pretty much Egon and uh, Janine pretty much tell them what they have to do in this particular stage before they um, go on and, and, and um, tackle the mission at hand, you know what I'm saying? Now, each of them have their own thing that they can do, you know what I'm saying? At Grotto and, and um, Rolling are the only two that can run and jump, you know what I'm saying? And they can hold up to um, six proton canisters, you know what I'm saying? One thing is worth putting out, it is pretty much um, the, the way their proton packs work. If you haven't watched the show, it's, that, um, it's not the same proton packs that um, Peter Egon um, ran um, Western News, you know what I'm saying? And that um, he got pretty much designed new proton packs because um, the ghosts couldn't get um, caught in the streams and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So he designed some canisters for for this new group of Ghostbusters to catch the ghosts in. You know what I'm saying? And, and be caught in the streams and stuff like that. But anyway, um, Garrett, who is the um, is the guy that was in the wheelchair because of a uh, sport accident stuff like that he he's able to um hold um six canisters um, proton canisters too but um Kylie for some reason can only hold one canister you know say so i don't know why the programs are dead dead with uh, Kylie but they should have had her hold six canisters too you know now um pretty much the items that the ghostbusters can get are the proton canister um PKE meters, uh, Ghost Trap, and uh, Slimer, and all of them, of course, have their own function. With the, um, of course, with the um, pro proton canisters, you're able to uh, shoot the um, proton streams at the uh, different ghosts that come your way and stuff. Um, the PKE meter, of course, when you grab that, it shows you where the closest um, ghost is at, you know what I'm saying? And with the Ghost Trap, you pretty much, um, when you catch them, the ghost with the stream, you throw it out, of course, and you, um, that sucks the ghost right in the trap and stuff, and with, uh, Slimer, he'll pretty much protect, um, the, uh, ghost that you're playing as, whether it's Kylie, Gary, Eduardo, or, or Rowling, and stuff like that, and pretty much, the game pretty much has, uh, four stages where you pretty much try to catch the ghost that's, uh, that's in the game, you know what I'm saying, and, um, and the different ghosts consist of different ones, like a, a vampire bat ghost, a pumpkin ghost, book ghost, you know, and stuff like that. And pretty much other weird looking ghosts like that. That's pretty consistent with the um, Extreme Ghostbusters um, cartoon show and, and the Ghostbusters franchise as a whole, you know. And, um,. Pretty much with the graphics and design, you know, they're pretty decent. With some, with some nice uh, uh, color palettes, you know, but it didn't necessarily age well and everything. Now, uh, um, the controls and gameplay are uh, are okay, but they're not necessarily impressive and all that. Now, to me, the uh, the soundtrack is to me 
is the worst part of the the extreme Ghostbusters game and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because it sounds pretty much muddy and it can get on your nerves in an instant. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty much nerve wracking in my opinion. Now, if Extreme Ghostbusters for uh, Game Boy Color, it could have been a good game, but it ended up being pretty much um, mediocre at best with a paper thin plot. You know what I'm saying? And I, I wish it would have been more, um, there would have been more substance to the plot, you know what I'm saying? And as far as the score, I definitely give um, Extreme Ghostbusters for the uh, Game Boy Color a 6 out of 10, you know what I'm saying? It, it should have been better, but they, they just put not enough, not enough effort was put into it, in my opinion. With that being said, you can sound off in the comment section about, um, um, Extreme Ghostbusters for the game port color, you know what I'm saying? Do you like it? Do you hate it? You know what I'm saying? And those of you who didn't um, get a chance to play it because it was only released in um, Europe, you can also chime in if you were, were able to um, buy it, you know what I'm saying, off of like Amazon or were able to play it off of, um, off of a retro gaming um, site, you know what I'm saying? all that now with that being said if you like this video don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button um hit, hit that bell you don't don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button this is your boy big metro fan 12 signing off